Greetings, y'all. It's Matt from the Green Arcade. Back playing some more Farming Simulator 19. Hey, we're back here at Wola. Wola? I think that's what I'm calling it. I guess that's what I'm calling it. Anyway, got my equipment moved up to this uh, central farm here. This is actually uh, right almost dead center of the map. Let's just pull this one up. This is almost dead center. Um, we've got this one up here. It's a little far away from everything, though. So I got this one right here. It's almost center. Here's center, and it's just over here. So... I think I'm going to make this the home base. It's got a silo. Uh, I think this is actually where the sheep are too. So um, we'll keep this all here for now. Uh, I got my equipment all parked up here. I uh, got the uh, the heads. I actually had to buy a different head. This head, or the head that I had, the cloth head, does not fit this old Dominator combine. I found that out. Uh, it does not work. It drags the ground too much. So I just got a Capella... Uh, six meter the same size as uh, that one and yeah that's that I've got that hitter I, I need to go pick that up I left it in a field down there um, but I'm gonna hang on to that because uh, I'll probably get that other combine at some point um, today we're gonna oh yeah I bought some other stuff too bought a uh, auger wagon the Kinsey this is the uh, I think this is the small one I think this is the 30,000 liter one so that's what I'm gonna use to transport my grains and stuff uh, speaking of grains uh, we've got quite a bit in storage, so I'll probably need to sell at some point, but right now I want to focus on getting the last remainder of my fields, um, and then we will sell. Um, since I'm going to be at this central homestead, I wonder if we can sell this stuff, these buildings here. These buildings really are in the way. Um, I could probably fit the tractors in there, but the combine, I'm thinking no. I could probably fold it up. It's got, I think it's got, does it have grain in it right now? Oop, wrong thing. No, it doesn't have any grain in it. I bet I could probably, I could probably fit that in there and fold it up. I don't know. It would be a squeeze because these doors are really small. I, I doubt I could fit it in there. But anyway, um, I wonder if we could sell that, those buildings. Because I really don't need these buildings, you know? That's not it. That looks, that looks more like it right there. So we could sell these buildings. I'm really thinking about it. Because they're just not economical, I guess. As far as garages go. I mean, I know they come with the map and everything. Is that open? Yeah. They're just, they're just kind of small, you know, and enclosed and... Yeah, I think I want to sell these. I really, really, really do. Oh, can I sell this one, too? Well, I know I can sell the house. I bet I could sell all these. I bet that's in there, too. But it's in there. I bet it's smaller. Yep, there it is right there. I don't know. I just think I could put something more uh, efficient. Maybe a little more updated. Plus, I'd be making a lot of room out here. Now back here we have the sheep. Here's the sheep, uh, I guess we call it, what are we going to call it, paddock? Got this drive under thing. I really, to be honest, I wish I could get rid of that too. Because this little drive under thing, I could really use this road to get around to this uh, silo back here. And here's the silo right here. I guess I can come around this way. Alright. And I'm not lagging when I do that. I've got um, my Super Red Bull running turned on. So uh, if you guys see it kind of going like that, that's me just very like tapping it. Because let me show you. If I really get on the juice here, watch this. Watch me run. I think I'm going a little faster than 80 uh, when I run. So yeah, I've got that turned up a little bit. Um, helps me get to places quicker when I need to run there real quick. So you might see me do this number right here where I'm just kind of. Just, you know, doing a little, what do you call that? Power jogging, maybe? Mm-hmm. What? What is this back here? Oh, we got trucks and stuff back here. Oh, we got uh, sugar beets on the ground back here. Okay, this is a sell point. Of course, they would put trucks in the way. Hmm. All right. So, what I want to focus on right now is getting some land or... I don't know, getting stuff that I can harvest. 
because that's the name of the game, right? Um, I, I noticed something else, too. When I went in to look at the grains, there's not a sawmill. I don't see one, anyway. So... I see Selling Station 2. It's the only thing that doesn't, you know, not pertain to green. Or that does not pertain to green. Uh, where is that at? Selling Station 2. There's Dairy Station. There's a green elevator. Selling Station 2. There is a biogas. There's Selling Station 2 right here. Let's go down here and take a look. I don't think it's a uh, sawmill. Could be wrong, but... Yeah, I don't think this is a sawmill. So I'm going to assume there's not a sawmill on here. So that, even though you guys, I might have put that question to you guys about should I do, you know, traditional logging or uh, get, break out the brooks. I think I'm going to have to break out the brooks because there is not a sawmill. And I don't think that's a sawmill. I think that's a regular cell point. So with that being said, I'm going to look around one more time. Oh, wait. There's a sawmill. Why is it not in the list? Do they not accept wood chips there? Hang on, that's right close to our house too. There is a sawmill here. Huh, look at that. Do they take, I wonder, do they not take wood chips? I don't think they would. Well, maybe we have to do traditional hogging instead of just some, instead of uh, wood chips. Hmm. Curious. So there is a sawmill. Do they take wood chips? I saw a pile. Yeah, there's a pile right here. Yeah, they do take wood chips. They do too. So they take wood chips and regular log. So I guess I'll wait until I get the uh, other videos uploaded and then try to uh, you guys leave a comment. Somebody somebody, y'all please leave a comment. If not I'm going to make a decision on my own and that's very dangerous. So there is a sawmill though. I wonder why it does not list wood chips because normally it lists the price right here and there's no price listed. Somebody help me figure that out. Maybe you have to have wood chips to do it first? I don't know. See, we're going to be selling blind here uh, when we do our wood chips. So that's kind of making me think maybe we should just go ahead and do the traditional logging route. I'm really not that concerned about logging, to be honest. Um, as far as, you know, making money. Because we want to focus on the farming. We want to take a look at the new cloth equipment anyway. So if you want to see logging, I mean... I've got plenty of videos out there with logging, so I don't know. But right now we want to focus on buying land, I think. Get some land. Something that we can harvest right away. 76 has got sunflower. Uh, I am really interested in, like, soybeans. The high dollar stuff, you know? Um... Corns 802, 1461, uh, that's canola, so yeah, the high dollar stuff I'm really looking at, it's not bad for barley either, so where we got some, and, and two, I want to get it kind of not sporadic, you know, I don't want fields like I got one here, I got one there, I got one here, I got one there. You know, I, I kind of want to uh, get them together, you know, and then get something I can afford. Because how much money do we have? We have 114. So that's going to be, I would kind of like to get them kind of close together. We own all these. There's that header. I got to go back and get that. I need to do some plowing down here after I harvest these. Uh, it would be nice to have it along the way here as well. Soybeans are a good crop. Kind of want a cluster. Kind of looking like right in here. 
These are kind of close to our homestead. That's only 56,000. That's 61,000. I could probably afford those too. That's pretty close. Are they ready to harvest though? Well, 76 is. We could get 77. And I think it's in its one of its first stages. We could fertilize that maybe. Unless it's already fertilized. Let's see. Uh, it needs lime. It's already fertilized one stage. So we could fertilize it after it goes into another stage maybe. 76 is ready to go though. Look at that. It don't need anything. It's ready to harvest. Why don't we get 76? For 61,000. We'll go ahead and harvest that. So we bought some sunflower down here. Right here. We got some sunflowers. We're going to harvest them. Grab my combine. I'm a running fool. Alright. I was running. Alright, Jene. The shrimp stuff has become a thing. Apparently. Everybody likes the shrimp thing. You know, shrimp soup, shrimp salad, shrimp and potatoes, all that. All that. We're not going to get into all the shrimps. But apparently it's become a, a thing, so. I love that movie. I love that movie. I could just watch that movie all day long. I could watch a 24 hour marathon of that movie. Right, speaking of 24s, John is supposed to have a Puma Plow 24. And I was going to ask him about that and I forgot. So, one thing about this header, we probably should fold it up and unfold it with it down uh, because it just clears the cab down. This did not come with a specific corn header so I went ahead, went ahead and got a capella one um, I could get a sunflower header for it matter of fact there are some modded cloth sunflower headers so I could get that eventually but I've decided just to get a corn header because I can do both corn and you know uh, sunflower uh, ooh, that corn looks like it's ready to go it's not fertilized or anything but I'm not that too concerned about that how much is that 84 yeah I can afford that I can't even afford the uh, the, uh, the other one, so we may have to sell some stuff. But yeah, as I was saying, if I have this up, it doesn't hit the cab up or down when it's like that, but if I unfold it like that, it does kind of phase through the cab. So I think what I'm going to do is lower it and then unfold it. Sounds like a better plan. That might, that might be how they do it in real life, I don't know. So let's unfold the combine now. And we will get rolling here. And this is where GPS could come in handy because if I do all this manually, uh, it would come in handy. Where's. What's north of me here? What kind of crop? Canola? How much is that field? That one's 49. I could afford that one. Or I could sell my crops and buy the. Uh, soybean field which is what I'm really thinking I might do this is a nice little combine this is part of the pre-order um, if you pre-ordered this DLC you got this combine this is one of the older uh, I think it's one of the older smaller combines did a really good job on the interior check out that microphone is that like a is that a CB radio thing? Is that a microphone at all? I don't know. It looks like one. I'm gonna say that's a CB microphone, but look at it. It's like a uh, like an auctioneer's microphone or something. It does not look like the traditional CB you know here in America. So um somebody ooh, it's got a cassette player too. We can break out our old uh old our old Def Leppard cassettes and you know whatever whatever else we got Johnny Cash uh you know. We can just rock it, man, with the cassette player up there. That is cool. They really paid attention to the detail, I guess, for uh, for this one. Oop, I'm missing. Can't afford to miss. That's awesome. That's all. Is that an A-Trek player? That can't be. The white thing, the white slot up there, is that what that is? Kind of looks like an 8-Trek player. A lot of you kids are like, what's an 8-Trek player? Well, 
before cassette players, they had another film-based cartridge uh, method of playing music. I can't see behind me. Uh, let's see. And they called them 8-tracks. That's kind of what that looks like up there. I'm not going to... I don't know. I would think if it has a cassette player, it wouldn't need one. Wouldn't need an 8-track player, but... Then we could really go retro with an 8-track player. Oh, nope. I know. I don't have access to it yet. I haven't bought it. Believe me, sir. I'm trying to harvest my shun of flowers that I just bought. And this is good because, like I said, these are fully, uh, fully fertilized here, I think. Yeah, fully fertilized. Okay, now it needs, now it needs, yeah, now it needs lime. That's what I'm trying to say. So, but yeah, this field of, uh, soybeans right here, that would be great to own. 56 and we have 52. So it wouldn't take much. I think I'm maxed out on my loan. You know what I could do? I could sell some buildings. I would trade off those buildings for fields in a heartbeat. So we could do that. Um, and it's still, it's, it's kind of weird that we have all these different homes. Because I was always under the impression you could only have one house. Maybe they changed that with the update. You know, we have 1.5 now. Maybe they changed that. I still need to come get that weight. But I think what I'm going to do is base everything off of maybe this homestead, or at least for right now. I need to, I need to pay attention to what I'm doing, too. I'm getting off here. At least for right now, do that, because it's nice to have it central. And there's a silo here, so it's kind of an in-between. Instead of parking, like, way up there or way down there, just uh, base everything right here. It's kind of like up on a hill, too. It's nice. You can kind of look out over stuff. Wouldn't it be cool if I could build a tower? Something I could climb up and look out over this thing. Right, I'm just going to cut some in rows here. And then I'm going to hire this out and go grab my uh, auger wagon. Got a few in rows. It lets the hired worker. Mm, what's the right word? It lets the hired worker not screw up as much maybe is that good terminology it 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 helps them cutting in rows does help them because it would be missing a lot right now and really i should probably do two i'm only going to do one probably should get into course play but i haven't gotten into that i don't know it course play it there's some issues with that too. Longer load times and stuff. Alright, I'm gonna hire that. I'm gonna go grab the uh, tractor. I don't want the little bitty one, I want the big one. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of happy with the cloths uh, so far. It's a uh, pretty, uh, pretty reliable, reliable, la la la, reliable brand if I could talk. Yeah, I'll tell you what, let me go ahead and sell these, I guess. Let's sell one and see what happens. Let's sell this big one right here. 37,000, that would give us enough to buy some more fieldage. Is there only one? I guess there's only one. Whoop, it's gone. Where'd it go? It's gone. Alright, we got room, guys. <laughs> oh, you know what else that did? That took away part of the natural gate, too, so... Um... I guess we'll put some buildings here, or something. Something repl just to replace it, you know. Something that might be more open. So I guess I'll put the back of whatever against this here. That way we still have a little bit of a barrier, maybe. So we got money. Um, should we sell that one, too? I'm going to sell that one, too. Let's see. It's this one, isn't it? It's another $37,000. There's no fence on this side, is there? Yeah, there is a fence over there. So whatever we whatever we move here, we'll put back uh, another little parking thing. But we can sell it. It's, it's thirty-seven thousand dollars, guys. It's money. All right, we can just put some, and it doesn't have to be huge either. We can just put a little small shed there, like um, 
Hmm, not these. These are the in-game ones. I've got some with lights in them. I've got some other stuff in here, too. Might be a little big, though. And these actually wouldn't be too bad. We could put something in here like this. I probably need to move that equipment, though. That equipment's all in the way. Oh, well, that's kind of big and bulky itself. I've got some of them easy sheds with lights. I can't remember which... And now I've got all these, ooh, maybe these, oh yeah, this is them, with lights. So I can put something like this in, you know. Turn it around. I don't own that land. Oh, the, the corn. It's the corn that I don't own that's it's saying that it's part of that land. I do own this over here though, right? Do I have to buy this homestead? I bet I have to buy this. I do. I need to buy this homestead. That's weird. I could sell it, but I don't own it yet. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's buy this homestead. That took our money back down. Well, we still got a little bit. Um, so now I should be able to place that, right? Let's go back to the one with lights. Go through all these sheds again. I bet I could place that one, too. Yep. Got a green light. Place this one, too. This was, this was kind of, this will kind of stick out there, though. I bet if I go back further, yeah. Can't go into the cornfield. So that that's too bulky. That sticks out too far. We want something a little smaller. And I've got these with lights. Right there, those. What else do I got in here? Oh, I've got these modding welt ones in here. Like that. That's only ten thousand dollars. It's a storage shed. Bail barn. Yeah, that's a little bulky. I don't know, it would fit though. And it kind of clears the road. I think I want to stick with the lights one. The, 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 the end game ones, but they have lights. Ooh, there's a nice one there. Can't read the stuff. It says Lager Hull for Shutter Gutter. Um, yeah, don't ask me to say that again. So I'm thinking maybe something like this. And that's kind of long. We're going to have to get the cornfield to put that in. So we'll take a little off our cornfield maybe. But at least we can... Uh, oh, I could probably put it over here. Ooh. Kind of line it up. Get it nice and snug up against this uh, fence thing here. Up a little bit forward. Get it aligned with it maybe a little. Whoop. Things really sensitive. Now I can bring it back this way just a little. Whoop. Maybe, maybe a little more. Maybe bring it like right snug with that post. A little more. A little more. Let's get it right up against it there. There we go. Move that way just a hair. Whoop, not that much. That was too big of a hair. Alright. Uh, now I look like I'm a little too close. Let me go away from it now. That'll work. Are we lined up with this? Place that sucker. We got it. Alright, so now we've got that. It just looks a little more open. Those other storage sheds, like kind of like that one back there, we're going to sell that too. Uh, it just looks a little too cramped. And see, now this is more open, so... And the best, like I said, the best part about these is these have lights. So we can, uh, there's not a switch. I think they come on at night, so. But these do have shop lights in them. So it'll, it'll light up the homestead a little more, too. Let me go get my combine. He's full. He fills up quick. 
All right, guys. So that's going to call it for this episode. What I'm going to do, I'm probably going to go ahead and get this soybean field. Uh, tell you what, why don't we go ahead and do that right now. Here's the soybean field. That way we can get it uh, fertilized. And I may sell some more of the buildings. Uh, not the house. may sell some more of the buildings and um, make a little money back. That'll open up our other little homesteads that we have floating around out here. And uh, buy some more fields. Yeah, I think that's going to be the name of the game. Try to buy some of these fields and uh, get them harvested. So I'm going to work ahead a little bit and uh, try to give you all enough time to leave a comment. Should I do... Should I get the Brooks Chipper and do wood chips, or should I do, like, legit logging? You guys let me know in the comments. Alright, that's going to be it for this episode. Crap. I need to watch where I'm going. I need to, you got to line up with this just right, I guess. Ooh, Nelly, there we go. Alright, I'm not in the neighbor's field. I am not in the neighbor's field, technically. Alright, remember you reap what you sow, guys. It's Matt from the Green Arcade. We'll see y'all later.